And now, an apathetic fable. Man, it's hard to come up with a unique tagline for each of these things. I hope I don't repeat one. The Nova Scotian aliens were destroying the world. Biscuits and gravy! We're all gonna die! Give this near! Give me money while you still can! <laughs> In my provisional opinion, I have seconds to no, live! No, I won't cancel class. We're still having the test today. Somebody stole my race car! Big Bob had used that race car to drive a boy named Billy to the town's multimedia production studio. Here's my idea, said a boy named Billy. The narwhals first lost possession of the squash way back during the war. So we'll use time travel to fix the situation. I'll go in our 1959 TV studio. Hang around for a bit until the narwhal wars roll around. Keep the squash from falling into the wrong hands. Then wait until the 2020s roll around and come back out our 2020 music recording studio. Big Bob saw no problem with that plan, so he sent his future stepson on his merry way. Yes it is! No it isn't. Yes it is! No it isn't. Yes it is! Hey, well, yeah, it's... that's pretty race. Yeah, I hate 2020. Everybody's talking about race and politics and disease. A boy named Billy. Now you're an old man named a boy named Billy. Here, I noticed a caveman was living in this broom closet and drawing on the walls. Now it can be our prehistoric art studio. Just step in there for a few seconds and it should youngify you. The old man named a boy named Billy did as his younger future stepdad suggested. And it worked. I don't think this universe's time travel rule makes any sense. Don't be meta, boy named Billy. That's the narrator's job. Darn right it is. Come on, a boy named Billy. Let's go see if your plan worked. It had not. The end.